Thank you very much, Kevin Harlan. Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, comes your way shortly here on TNT. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff <coughs> Smith, and Charles Barkley. So Minnesota trails going to the fourth quarter, 86-81. They win it by 15, 118, 103. They have the best record in the NBA when trailing after three quarters, five wins and eight losses. Uh, and Anthony Edwards turns it around. He has two points in the first half, Kenny, and then goes, goes for 26 in the second half. Not surprised. Um, what, what Anthony Edwards, the, someone asked me, you know, today about how, what type of play it was. When, when um, this summer I watched him play two preseason games. The first preseason game, Anthony Edwards did not play. Second one, he did. What he's able to do is calm everyone down because when you need a basket, we're going to give it to him. When we need to make a play, we're going to give it to him. When we need a defensive stop at times, we're going to put the, him on the best player. So now the guys who used to be in those positions, now they take the secondary role. And some of them are primary guys, like Carl Anthony Towns, a primary guy at times who can always take the second role. So I'm calm. So I, I watched them play, and I thought they were much calmer. And that's what Anthony Edwards, so I'm not surprised he had a great second half. As we wait for Anthony Edwards to put on a headset at Target Center, uh, what's your t – okay, I would, I would ask you a question, Chuck, but I'm told now that he is ready. So let's welcome Anthony okay, Edwards yeah. to the proceedings. Uh, Ernie Johnson here in Atlanta. Anthony, go dogs. And uh, Yes, sir. Let's, let's talk about the difference between the first half and the second half and what clicked for you. Um, I mean, pretty much. I just came out slow, man. I, I just wasn't ready to play tonight. And um, I saw that if I, if I didn't bring it to the second half, we wasn't going to be able to win that game. So, you know, I decided to just pick it up. I wasn't ready to play early, so I had to find it. Uh, Anthony Shaq here. Uh, you are indeed a great player. Uh, we all know you had a slow first half. Picked it up the second half. What did you say to yourself? You know, you just said that you weren't ready to play. What did you say to yourself at halftime to get yourself going? Um, I know nobody on the other side of the court really could, you know, stay in front of me or guard me. So I knew I was just, you know, BSing down here. So pretty much that's it. I knew nobody could guard me. So I just took it upon myself to figure it out. Yeah, you know, Anthony, it, it's interesting. When you're a great player, sometimes you kind of go through the motion. Who's the one guy on a team can get on your ass? Because I, I had Rick Mahorn. <laughs> I had yeah. Rick Mahorn and Dan Marley and Derek Smith. Yeah. But who's yeah. the one guy? Yo, man. Who's that guy on your team? Uh, Kyle Anderson, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> he told me at halftime, like, he told me at halftime, man, you got two points. You ain't looking like no superstar right now. You're looking like a scrub. So, you know, I had to figure it out. <laughs> you know, after, you know, the start of this, after last year, there was a lot of talk that we would always hear you with the confidence, how you could, no one could guard you. Things could happen. Now that's translating into wins. Difference between translating the individual accolades. Tell me what Trent, what, how did that move from I'm playing good, but I can make us play good? Uh, I think playing in the USA, um, the FIBA World Cup this summer, um, I think that changed my perspective about everything. Uh, being able to play with your team, um, you know, play within the game and not try to just ice, play isolation ball all day. Um, playing within the system, and Finchie does a great job of making sure I stay within the system. Uh, Anthony, I'm going to ask you another question about other than you, you're obviously terrific. Nas Reed, what yeah. does he mean? What does he? What does he mean to y'all team? Because I love that kid. Yeah, I love him too. Uh, he means everything to me and to our team. I'm pretty sure he means everything to those guys too. Um, to me, he's the X factor of the team, man. Every night that he brings it, we win. Um, so, and I told him today, like, man, when you play like this, I don't think we can be beat by anybody in the league. And you know, as long as he keeps that confidence high, we we we're gonna be unstoppable. And last thing, and then we'll let you go. Uh, Got to ask you about the player that's going to be on every highlight reel on every sports show <laughs> everywhere. So take yeah. me through this off the backboard play. Um, I pretty much just did like a double between the legs. And when I was, I was just trying to get to a spot, like an elbow spot, and he kind of cut me off. And I didn't have nobody to pass it to. <laughs> and I pump faked and he jumped. So I was just like, I might as well try it. I seen, um, I seen somebody doing an all-star game. So I was like, I might as well try it. <laughs> It worked. Yeah, hey, you didn't look like yeah, a scrub it doing it either. <laughs> so, <laughs> For sure. 118-103, <laughs> the final win number 30 
for the Minnesota Timberwolves best record in the West. And thanks a lot for your time, man. Appreciate, Good game, it. My Appreciate boys. y'all guys, man. Hustle two, yes, hustle two coming out. Hustle Come two on, baby. Show coming out. Yes, sir. Adam, <laughs> lock in. Lock <laughs> in, Adam. <laughs> you know, you, you, you're we going we going to break or we're going to talk? Uh, we're going to go to break and then okay. we're going to talk because inside the NBA is our post game show. That's going to come on next. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to watch a game. <laughs> like I said, all over the place.